When using Articulate Storyline on a Mac operating system, you are going to need to be mindful of one other thing. This is of particular importance if, like me, you also enjoy working on um, in Parallels Desktop in the Coherence view. So in Coherence view, you see everything um, seamless. It doesn't appear that you're working in um, the Windows OS. It looks like you're working in the Mac OS. Now, what I want to talk about today is installing fonts for Storyline. I work with a lot of clients. These clients tend to have their own branding and their own fonts, a lot of which needs to be installed. Now, if you were to just go um, into your finder and go to applications and open up the font book, you've got all your fonts here. Now, I have some fonts I'd like to install, so let's open up that folder. Usually how you would install those, and this is how you would install them on Mac, is you would copy um, or highlight all of your fonts and then just drag them, drag them to the font book. And then they install, and it's fantastic. And then, so what did we install? We installed Poly Regular, let's see here. Now we have our poly, our poly font. Um, so that's fine, but if you install them in the font book on the Mac OS, they are not going to show up in Articulate Storyline because you have installed them on the Mac OS and not the Windows OS. So what you need to do is you need to install them on both operating systems. So we had just installed them on the Mac operating system, and now we're going to go ahead and install those same fonts on the Windows OS. And you would do this just as you would in um, a Windows operating system normally. So we select our start button. We are going to go to our computer. Now your fonts on your computer are located your C, um, your C drive, and then the Windows folder, and then fonts. So once you go to fonts, then you can copy your fonts over. We're going to install them on the Windows operating system. And then what we're going to do is we're just going to open up Articulate Storyline. And it's important to know that when you install new fonts, you have to restart Storyline. If it's already open, you have to shut it down and then reopen it. And your fonts will be applied in that restart. Okay, so I'm just going to select new project here. And we're going to go into a slide, we're going to add our text box, and I'm going to put a bunch of text in here, and then we're going to look for that poly font. So you will see that we now have poly. So again, just something to be mindful of when you're working in two operating systems, you just need to make sure that you install those fonts in both operating system if you want them to work in a Windows native application. So hopefully that helps alleviate some confusion. And uh, if you have any comments, let me know in the comments below.